So, sometimes people give me very much credit that I have done wonderful throughout the whole world. But I do not know that I am a wonderful man. But I know one thing, that I am speaking what Krishna has spoken. I am not making any addition, alteration. Therefore, I am presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is. This credit I can take. But I don't make any nonsense addition or alteration. And I see practically it has become successful. Huh? I am not bribed so many Europeans and Americans. I am poor Indian. I came to America uh, with forty rupees with me. Uh, and now I possess forty crores. So there is no magic. Hmm. You can go that side you are sleeping. Uh, <clears throat> so this is a secret. That if you want to become guru, honestly, if you want to cheat, that is another. There are so many cheaters. People also want to be cheated. Ah. As soon as we say that if you want to become my disciple, you'll have to give up four things. No illicit sex, no intoxication, after drinking tea and smoking cigarette. No uh, uh, meat eating and no gambling. And they criticize me. Samiji is very conservative. And if I say that you can do all nonsense, whatever you like, you simply take this mantra and give me hundred and twenty five dollars. This they will like. Because in America, hundred and twenty-five dollars is nothing. Any man can pay any widget. So I would have collected millions of dollars if I would have cheated like that. But I do not know that. I want one student who follows my instructions. I don't want millions. Ekaschanda samohanti nachatara sahasra. If there is one moon in the sky that is sufficient for illumination, there is no need of millions of stars. So, my position is that I want to see that at least one disciple has become pure devotee. Of course, I have got many sincere and pure devotees. That is my good luck. But I would have been satisfied if I could find out one only. There is no need of so-called millions of stars. Uh, so therefore, the process is there, and it is very simple. And if we understand the all instruction in the Bhagavad Gita, and then we study Srimad Bhagavatam, or if you don't study, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given very simple method. That is also recommended in the Shastra. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kivalam, Kalo Nasti, Vanasti, Vanasti, Vagatra. If we want to study Vedic literature, that is very good. There is sound footing. So we have already got fifty books. You study, become very great scholar in philosophy, in religion, 
in sociology. Everything is there in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Politics also. And you become perfect man with full knowledge. And if you think that you have no time, you are not so good scholar, you cannot read all these books, chant Hare Krishna. Either way, you will become perfect. Either uh, both or at least one. Uh, if you cannot read books, chant Hare Krishna will be perfect. And if you read books or chant Hare Krishna, that is very good. Uh, but there is no loss. Uh, if you chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, but you cannot read books, there is no harm. There is no loss. That chanting is sufficient. But if you read, then you will be able to defend yourself from the opposing parties. That will help you preaching war. Because in the preaching war, you have to answer so many questions, you have to meet so many opposing elements. So if you are strong in your position by reading books, basic literature, then you become very, very uh, favorite to Krishna. Krishna says, Nachatasmat manusya su kaschit me priya kitta jayam puramam goyam mad bhakti su abhidhasu. Anyone who preaches this confidence and knowledge, sarva dharman paritta jama mekang sarang bhaja, if he is ably uh, fit to preach this message to the world, then immediately he becomes very, very much recognized by the Supreme Law. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. 